We'll join together for day 15, the halfway point of our 30-day morning yoga journey. Today's practice is a wonderful way to take care of the health of your lower back. You can access the complete 30 days for free by visiting the link in the description below and entering the promo code that's on the screen now, which I've also included in the video description. Johnny and I will join you seated on the mat. Move your blocks to the front of the mat if they're not already. Then make your way to lying on your back. We'll begin today's practice with knee to chest pose. So once you're reclined, extend your legs out long. And then we'll draw your right knee towards your chest. Wrap your hands around your shin, guiding your knee even closer towards your chest. We'll ground down through the heel of your extended leg. If the opposite extended leg does not feel comfortable in your body, you can bend your knee and bring your solo foot to the mat. Feel into your shoulders, grounded to the earth, and then soften throughout your shoulders. Your feet are not flexed or pointed, but rather just let them be soft. We'll actively relax all your muscles with each exhalation you take. Bring awareness to the steady rhythm of your heartbeat. We'll be holding this for about two minutes. All right, my friends, mindfully bend into your left leg, bring your solo foot to the mat if it's not already, and then release your right leg, bringing solo foot to the mat, and then draw your left knee into your chest, wrapping your hands around your shin to gently guide your knee closer to your body. The opposite leg can stay here, extend it out long. If you extend your leg, go and ground that right heel and then draw your attention to your shoulders. Ground them to the earth. Allow your shoulders to soften. Feet are relaxed, no pointing or flexing, just letting them be as they are. Slow, steady inhalation through your nose. And a long, slow, complete exhalation as you actively relax all your muscles. We begin our practice with this gentle hip opener that lightly stretches out your lower back and also compresses your stomach to encourage healthy digestion. So this is a great pose to do every morning to stretch and get things flowing. We'll mindfully bend into your right knee, bringing solo foot to the mat, and then release your left leg, solo foot to the mat. We'll roll over to the right side, and in your own time, make your way to hands and knees. So with our next one is when the yoga blocks will come in handy. With the in poses I do first thing in the morning, I like to create a little more space for more easily stepping that front foot forward. So before we do this, let's line your knees under your hip points, and then place one block under each of your wrists at a height that feels good for you to step forward. And then step that right foot forward. Align your knee over your ankle. 
And if you notice that it's past, go to inch your back foot back a little, widening your stance, and then extend that back leg long behind you, allowing your hips to melt into the pose. You may keep your hands to the blocks at the height that works for your body this morning, or if it's accessible and feels good in your body, you can lower your fingertips to the mat. Choose a variation that allows you to soften all your muscles. Relaxing all the muscles that do not need to engage to support you holding this pose. Allow your neck and shoulders to soften while maintaining space between your shoulders and ears. And with each exhalation you take, feel the gentle pull of gravity, bringing your hips closer to the earth. We'll be here for about a minute 30. Let's soften and slowly start to straighten your front leg, sending your hips back just for a quick stretch, and then bend back into your front knee. Tuck your back toes and press up. We'll bend into your back knee to mindfully step to the front of the mat. Go ahead and set your blocks off to the side. Bring your feet a little wider than hip distance. Slight bend in your knees as this helps to target the low back. Go ahead and clasp opposite elbows. And we'll ground down through all four corners of your feet, feeling your weight evenly distributed throughout your feet. Allow gravity to be your friend here, relaxing throughout your upper body, your head dangles, neck is relaxed, soften through your jaw, through your facial muscles. Feel the space between the vertebra expanding. The more you soften through your upper body with each exhalation you take. Staying present in the sensations you experience in this pose. We're here for about a minute 30. Soften your fingertips to the mat. We're moving into squat. So bring your toes to point out and heels in. And then for today's practice, go ahead and take a yoga block and place it where your hips will lower to. So take on medium height, placing it horizontally. And when you're ready, lower your hips down through center to the block, adjusting the block as needed. And then rest your elbows to the inside of your thighs. Bring your palms to kiss at heart center. Gently pressing your knees a little wider. Let's extend up through the crown of your head as you lengthen your tailbone towards the earth, elongating your spine. Slow and steady breaths in and out your nose. This soothing, stabilizing pose helps with your outer hip rotation and opens your lower back and with those soles of feet grounded to the earth, they can create a sense of grounding. Now, if your heels pop up, you can place a rolled up blanket or a towel underneath your heels.
Soften your palms and lower your fingertips to the mat. We will slowly start to lift your hips back up to forward fold. Set the block off to the side, heel to your feet into hip distance. And take a few steps back to down dog so you can lower your knees to the mat or taking our baby dragon on the second side. So line your knees and your hip points, one block under each wrist. Once you have it, take your time in stepping your left foot forward. Then we'll align your left knee with your ankle, adjusting your stance as needed. And then we'll extend your back leg long behind you, feeling those hips melt forward and down into the pose. Explore what feels best with the height of your hands, maybe using the blocks, maybe not. Notice if what feels best on this side is any different than that of the first side. And if it is, just give yourself props for tuning in and honoring exactly what this side needs. Allow all your muscles to relax that do not need to engage to support you holding this pose. Allow your neck and shoulders to soften while keeping space between shoulders and ears. This is an amazing pose if you're like me and spend majority of your days sitting at a desk or just in a chair. This stretches deeply into the front side of your hips and creates length in your lower back. Let's soften and slowly start to straighten your front leg, sending your hips back in space. And then we'll step your front knee back. Set your yoga blocks off to the side, find your tabletop, and move through a few feel-good hip circles, releasing and recalibrating your body. Find stillness. Bring your feet off to one side and then sit back to the opposite. Bring your feet out in front of you and make your way towards the center of the mat so you can mindfully recline yourself back. We're going to take a reclined child's pose. So for this one, go ahead and bring your knees towards your chest and wrap your arms around. And if that's not accessible, you can take one hand to each knee. Soften your head back to the earth. Shoulders grounded to the earth. And your tailbone will lift off of the ground as you hug this in. When you inhale, lengthen your spine. And when you exhale, draw your knees a little closer. We'll be here for just about a minute. soften and lower your soles of feet to the mat. We're going to take a supported bridge pose next, but if you do not have a yoga block, that's okay. You can bring your feet as wide as the mat, knees into kiss, or soles of feet into kiss, knees fall open. But if you have a yoga block, join me pressing down through your feet to lift your hips so you can slide that yoga block underneath your hips. You may explore the height of the block that feels best in your body this morning. And then once you have it, rest your hips to the block and really give all your weight over to the block. And notice how it feels to actively release and let your hips go on the blocks. Arms can relax at your side, but if you'd like to open your upper body a little, slowly start to slide your arms up like you're making a snow angel. Pausing when you feel the first moment of that stretch sensation. 
You may notice that one arm can slide up a little more than the other, and that's perfectly okay. Honor your body. Let's keep your knees bent, soles of feet to the mat. We'll be here for about one minute. As you breathe and hold, focus on feeling all the heaviness of your hips as you give your weight over to the block. Let's slowly start to slide your arms down. Lift your hips so you can remove your block. And very, very slowly in loving kindness, return your hips to the earth. Set the block off to the side. We're moving into a twist. Extend your left leg out long, drawing your right knee toward your chest. Take your left hand to your knee to guide it across your body into a twist. Extend your right arm out long and allow your gaze to follow those fingertips. Left hand to your knee to gently weigh it down. Feel both your shoulders grounded and breathe into the space of your twist. And with your exhalation, soften your body, taking you deeper into the twist. Let's unwind and draw your knees back into your chest. Return foot to the mat, left foot comes to the mat, and then extend your right leg out long, drawing your left knee in towards your chest. Take your right hand to your knee to guide it across your body, and extend the opposite arm out long, taking your gaze towards those fingertips. Both shoulders grounded, breathing into the space of the twist on your inhalation. And your exhalation, your body softens, taking you deeper into the twist. Let's unwind and draw your knee back into your chest. Return your foot to the mat. Right foot comes back in. Roll over to the right side to make your way to a comfortable cross leg seated position. We'll find that vibrant long spine of yours there. Hands relax wherever is comfortable. Eyes gently closed or soft gaze forward. Take a moment to feel into the effects of the practice upon your body mind and spirit. While we tend to the physical body, we're also connecting with your mind and nurturing your spirit. Let's take a big breath in, gathering love and light as you sweep your fingertips up to the sky. Palms kiss and bring all that love and light down to your heart center. Let's breathe in to raise prayer to your third eye. Exhalation, bow forward to your beautiful heart. 
Namaste. I know I was feeling a yin yoga high here. I hope you enjoyed your time on the mat with me this morning, taking care of the health of your lower back. You just made it through day 15, my friend. We are halfway through the 30-day challenge. I'd love to hear if you are enjoying the yoga journey, what's been your faves. Comment below and share with the community. I'll see you on the mat for tomorrow to kick off the second half of our yoga journey.